Okay, let's go to here about minor ticks, meaning, for example, in this picture, you've got these ticks here as opposed to the large ticks there. So if you want to add those, you want to go through this. So they say, he says that um, you'll need the minor tick function, which is in the H miscellaneous package. So let's see if we have H miscellaneous installed. So you can see what packages you have installed using this command, installed packages. And then when you enter it, I get this. I don't see it there. I don't see it here. I don't see it here. I don't see it here. And I don't see it here. So we, I need to install it. And just to make sure, I did this, and it says it's not there. Okay, so you can install it from here, maybe using this, or you can use a com command, but I'll do this. Uh, install packages. Then I have to choose a repository. So I'll choose Japan and then I look for the package and by the way uh, as you go through this look at all the packages that are here and you'll see why R is considered the most powerful uh, programming, uh, statistical programming tool. Um, anyway, where is it? Uh, we need H miscellaneous. Which is here. Sometimes it will install extra packages that, and that is if uh, this package depends on some other package. Uh, for example, it looks like this one depends on this one, so it will install both of them. Depends on means that this uses some functions from here. Okay, now remember that n is uh, stores the number 10 at the moment. And let's also take a look at that minor tick uh, documentation. Hmm. Whoops, I forgot, right? I installed the package, but I didn't load it yet. So I need this to do that. Okay, then try this again. And we get that. So let's take a look at it. So we've got uh, NX, NY, tick ratio. So what is NX? So anyway, let's read this first. Adds minor tick marks to an existing plot. So the plot has to already be there. Remember, this is a, called a low-level function. Plot is a, itself a high-level function, which brings up the whole window which we saw you could do separately, but uh, anyway, all minor ticks that will fit on the axes will be drawn. Okay, so what is NX? The number of intervals in which to divide uh, the area between major tick marks on the x-axis, set to 1 to suppress minor ticks. So, uh, if it, so you're going to divide the m um, major ticks into minor ticks, in this case into two minor ticks, but you could change that. Uh, this is the same thing, but for the y-axis. And the tick ratio is, I guess, another way to set this. OK, so let's see what he does. So he's doing n, n, and tick ratio is n. Actually, I'm not clear about what this does. 
and whether we actually need that. I guess we do, but... Oh, I'm sorry. It's the size of the minor tick mark. It's just the size of the mark relative to the uh, major mark, major tick mark. Uh, and uh, it says the current length of the major tick mark, the length of it, I guess that's the size of it, can be retrieved using that. But when I do this, I get NA. Anyway, let's continue. Let's try it. So, for example, if we did this, we would have two on uh, two between each major on the x-axis and three between that. And I guess this would be the size. Let's try this out. So let's try this one here. So make sure that you've installed HMIS miscellaneous and loaded it with the library and then try this out and see what you get. Okay, so I get something kind of weird. Uh, there sh I put 10 in, and uh, uh, 10 in on this side as well. Now, they don't seem to match up perfectly with these, and I'm not sure why that is. And then, um, the length is 10, so maybe I don't want that. At least I want to readjust that. Okay, ran the whole plot again. I, I, cl I closed it, ran it again, and now I did this one, and it looks like this. Now, I'm not sure why these are not matched up with these numbers, so we'll have to look in, I'll have to look into that and uh, see if we can figure out why. Okay, let's continue with reference lines.